Okay, now we are on question number 31, and we're asked to use a number line, and it says, which of the following numbers can be represented on the number line between points P and Q? So pay attention to what they're asking you to do. This is a number line that goes from 0 to 1, which means that all of the hash marks in between 0 and 1 represent fractions, and we want to find what point falls right between between P and Q right here. Well notice what we're given down below. We are given fractions. 17 over 37, 26 over 43, 39 over 59, 57 over 71. And what I can tell you is that it is going to be infinitely easier for you to figure out what's going on in here if you use your uh, calculator and um, convert everything to, uh, to fractions and then to decimals. Okay, so the first thing that we need to, do, to determine is this. Let me draw our denominators uh, first. We need to divide, fi figure out how this line has been divided. Well, from 0 to this hash mark, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So all of our denominators along this line will be 8. Now, I'm not going to reduce anything, as you're going to see in a moment. All we need to do now is add in the numerators. So this is 1 8 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, and then this one would actually be 8 eighths as a, as a matter of fact. So what we really are trying to determine is what number falls between 5 eighths and 6 eighths. So in order to, uh, to do that, what we need to do is to convert these things to decimals. So we're going to do that next. Let me get my calculator working here so that maybe if you want to uh, try to work along with me, you certainly can. And it would have infinitely helped this little presentation had I found that thing to begin with. And of course I didn't, and now I'm starting to sweat. And not just because it's hot, but because I'm feeling rather stupid. And so let me go into my tiny little accessories, and aha, there's my calculator. All right, I should have already memorized this, but let's do it the, the hard way first. All right, let's get the decimal equivalent for 5 eighths. That's easy. That's going to be 5 divided by 8. That's going to give us 0 0.625. So I'll go ahead and write that in here, 0.625. Five. Very easy. And we want to find some number between 0.625 and the next one. So let me clear it out. And now we're going to take 6 divided by 8, and that's going to give us 0.75. So think of it this way. What number between P and Q is between 62 cents and 75 cents? Well, look at all of the remaining answers, A, B, C, and D. They look like a mess, but really they're quite easy. So let's take the, uh, the first one. Convert it to a decimal. Take 17, I just cleared it, 17 divided by 37 is going to give you, wow, look at that number, 0.459, dot, 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 dot. That's easy. Just round it to like 0.46. You can do that. Now, does 46 cents fall between 62 cents and 75? No, obviously it doesn't. So let's do the next one. I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to take 26 divided by 43. And this is going to give me 60 cents. Whoopee. Does that fall between uh, P and Q, or 62 cents and 75? Absolutely not. So let's take a look at the next one and see if we can get it. 39, that's the numerator, divided by 59, gives me 0.661. I think we nailed it. 66 cents is, in fact, between 62 cents and 75 cents, and that's why C is correct. So sorry for... Uh, making you wait to find my calculator, but hopefully it made sense. Again, if 31 was a mess, send me an email, I'll fix it, and uh, let's move on.